I'm your friendly neighborhood, Endman64, and I'm bringing you the next episode of Spyro Year of the Dragon. In the last episode, we did the Haunted Tombs and lapped it up 150 gazillion percent. So much so that we are officially 91% completely done with the game. In fact, in Midnight Mountain alone, there is only two more full levels. Actually, one and a half, because Sparks levels don't really count as full levels, but... We are going to take on Dino Mines in this episode, as it is the last of the major worlds in the game. I saved the best for last. Even though this episode, even though this level can be a little frustrating with enemies getting free shots in on you, but you know what? I respect it. Mainly because I love dinosaurs. And well, I tolerate dinosaurs. I used to love them as a kid, but then Jurassic World happened. And now every two years I get AI dinosaurs running amok. And then what do we get? Oh! Oh no! Dinosaurs! Ooh, whatever. Let's start by getting this secret egg that I always miss. But not today, Zerg. Alright, and now we fly over here. Do our little hover jump. And now, we get to play with cowboy dinosaurs. And they are literally cowboy dinosaurs. They even do the draw. And that one's just holding a, a friggin' stick of dynamite in his hands. I don't know why. I don't know what these dinosaur, what happened to these dinosaurs to make them so ornery, but I don't care. How far are we in, out of curiosity? 10%. Okay, I can live with that. Is that Sheriff a rabbit? Well, gosh darn it, Spyro. I came in here to check on my prisoner, only to find out he'd somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs went and locked me in. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble, and there's not a thing I can do about it. You make all you make the great sheriff Wyatt Earp just roll over in his grave, dude. Wyatt Earp would never have been tricked into a cave into a cage. Come on. Come on. Wyatt Earp would never do that. Wyatt Earp would put you in a cage before he'd ever get caught in one. I'm not even just talking tombstone Wyatt Earp. I'm talking like Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp. The living legend. Oh, he hasn't been living in over a hundred years, but still. Actually, when did Wyatt Earp die? I think it was like in the 1930s. They got the cactus. <sighs> Honestly. If I can get this done by like 2 o'clock, we should be in really good shape. And I mean, that means I can do even more editing. Or prep us for what we're going to be doing after Spyro. Excuse, excuse me, Mr. Di excuse me, Mr. Dinosaur. That was rude. And there are, there are literally no uh, invincibility frames in this game. Literally, you just saw it. These goddamn things are like pieces of shit. Get get fucked, dude. I'm your huckleberry, bitch. Don't be such a bitch, Johnny Ringo. Alright. That's a dinosaur? Oh god, oh god, oh god. That is that is dynamite. Get away from the dynamite. Oh, an egg. Beautiful. Romy. Oh, he's sucking on a binky. Wait, was that binky born in his mother's uterus? I don't want to. You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. In fact, I have not seen any female dragons except for these babies. Do dragons... Are dragons, like... 
asexual reproduction. I mean, are they? Or is this just the end man asking questions he's afraid to get the answers for? Who gave these freaking... Who, well, first of all, what kind of dinosaur is this? And then second of all, what kind of dinosaur has a gun that works underwater? Alright, so first things first, let's see if we can get rid of this guy. You fucker. And I died. Because these guys get multiple shots off and it's almost impossible to dodge them in the water. But whatever. Like I said, this is probably going to be one of the longer ones. Alright. As long as we take care of these chowder heads. Now fly up. Drill him in the beak. Deck him in the schnoz. And I think, I think we're good to go. Alright, Johnny Ringo. How many times do I have to tell you? Oh no, it's Clanton. The cowboys are dead! The cowboys are dead. And I'm bringing the thunder! How fucking long is their. How fucking great is their fucking range on those Gatling guns? Jesus! Oh my god, that was. This fucking Triceratops asshole. Now jump up and die. There we go. I think we got everything over there, which means we're actually almost done with the level. There's a lot of, uh, what's it call it? A lot of secondary stuff we're gonna have to do. We did the swim through the wall, the leap of faith. We gotta, sh we gotta save Sheriff Wyatt. Wyatt. There you go. Well, I'll be, so that's how my prisoners keep escaping. Here, take this dinosaur egg away before it hatches and causes more trouble. I think it must have been the runt of the litter, though. Kiki, does she have a good delivery service? Jump in here, Josephette. That's the cutest looking dinosaur I ever did see. That was a dragon lion, but okay. You do you, fam. You do you. All right, we have two bonus areas to explore. I'm going to start with this one. Do you guys recall in Seashell Shore, I think it was the name of it, one with the stupid seals that are causing problems, that we had a mission where we had to go through something while defeating enemies and avoiding obstacles? That is exactly what we have for us here. One of them dinosaurs threw an egg down this flooded mine shaft. <laughs> I get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. That is that is a complete amount of disrespect for Doc Halliday. I am very dis I am very disappointed. That is very disappointing. He did not even once say I'm your Huckleberry. All right. All right. So first things first, dodge the dynamite. Dodge the fallen things. I don't... Are there any enemies in this one? I don't think so. I don't... Oh, there are some. Okay. I was going to say, I don't think so. Because the last one had, like, Rhinox there immediately. These ain't Rhinox. These are just asshole dinosaurs. Oh. Fucking balls. Oh, well. Honestly, though, given how quickly I breached through this level, there's a pretty decent chance that we would be done in 15 minutes if I didn't die a couple of times. I used to think this level took, like, so long. Not out of badness, or maybe I just enjoyed the frickin' level. I don't know. We'll find out. Where are these goddamn dinosaurs with guns? Ow! Okay. Sucks that I have no way of, like, defending myself from these mines. It's literally just dodge them. It's not even, like, a quick roll or something that you could use. 
but that is the game I chose to play. Probably the quintessential game from my childhood, this one. Obviously, I played other games, but like, when it comes to, oh good lord. When it comes to other games, I think Spyro takes the cake for the one that I've played the most. Oh, there we go. Thank you. And we got Elliot. That's not Elliot from Peach Dragon. This game keeps lying to me. Alright. First things first, we need to fully restore our health for this next one. Because if you thought the tombstone references that I've been making before were bad, good gravy, we've got a bunch more coming up. Uh, but first things first, I need to fully heal. So we're going to go look for some varmints to kill. Like this guy. And do we have any more? Oh, hello. I would have missed this. Oh. Wow. Let's respawn the fucking cactuses for no reason. I need another varmint. There you go. So it's the only gems in this level, Sparks. Are the only gems in this level in Agent 9's area. I'm asking you. You seem to be laboring under the delusion that they are. I will hate I will kill you if they're not. Ooh, we're missing it? An egg. Sheriff Interesting. I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs. Alright. So we're before we take on this mission, we're gonna go and get every single gem we can here. Mainly because I don't want to have to do it later. So we don't miss any gems. Especially since this last segment is going to be pretty darn difficult. I always have problems with this section. And again, it's just from the random amazing shot rates these dinosaurs have. Oh, Sheila's wanted. And so is Bentley. What about the Boyd? The Boyd is wanted. Is the monkey wanted? Apparently not. Oh, well. But here's our extra egg. Sergio. One hundred and forty-five eggs. Good, good gravy. Good gobbledygooks. All right. Once we're, once I know we have all the gems, then we can worry about taking on this mission. Which again, like I said, is not an easy one. It is not a mission for the faint of heart. Alright, seven more gems. And I believe they're all going to be right over here. Aha! Thank you, Sparks. With the raised grass for these makes it it's the same in the entire reignited trilogy so it's like it makes sense that all the eggs are gonna all the gems are gonna hide in the grass especially in that oh my god that stupid that stupid farm level in winter tundra and ripto's rage all right now let's talk to the sheriff if you just calm down oh, deputy second, roy stop all that whooping and hollering i could tell you what's going on the bailey gang are holed up in them buildings over there you're gonna have to go in there and flush them out. Darn toot! Well, good luck to you. All right. Fight it, 
gunfight at the OK Corral. Even though I'm like 90% sure there was no, they didn't actually do it in the OK, OK Corral. I think it was right outside. One of the few things Tombstone actually got 100% right about the story. No dynamite, no dynamite, no dynamite, you varmints. Honestly, just keep shooting. The best way to keep yourself alive is just to keep shooting. There are no replenishing of your health here. There is nothing, as far as I remember. So honestly, just keep shooting, no matter what. And you should be okay. Up, oh, there's our first hit. Hey, how come they took 66 health away from me this time? It should have taken 75. That's dumb. Oh, well, at least that skill shot gave me HP again. I think that's the only way you can replenish your health. Is if you get that skill shot down. Alright, and last guys to take out. And I shot you, you dirty rat. You dirty varmints. Whatever. Why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg? That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. It was the sorceress deputy, Roy. And we're about to go kick her ass, so it's okay. And yes, that is 100% completed Dino Mines. Which means. There's only one thing left to do to unlock the rest of the game, and that is beat the final boss, which we will do next episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Nman64. Join me next time when we confront the mean old sorceress once and for all. Until we meet again, my lovelies, Saya freaking Nara.